is a topic that has been embraced by many modern families to ensure they plan their families accordingly. However, in patriarchal societies like Kenya, men continue to wield excessive power that determines contraception use among women. Our reporter Violet Auma interacted with members of the Banyalo community in Kakamega County, and as she reports, women are forced to devise new ways of ensuring they plan their families without their husband's knowledge. Mukula village Navaholo Kakamega County We arrive at Gentrix Wekesa's home She has just harvested beans She got at least a good harvest this season However anxiety has taken toll on Gentrix The mother of 10 is concerned about her latest decision The 30 year old is expecting her 11th child Now 3 months pregnant Ah ndoto ni mwaka moja huwa namaliza mwaka ni na Pole nikianza tu kwenda period ni period mwaka moja mwingine mwaka ikipita mwingine hata sasa ni kwa na mimba ni statu mtoto ako na mwaka moja hata achamaliza vizuri As a sole breadwinner in her family she is burdened with the responsibility of taking care of her children her husband has not lent her a helping hand for years Ikabidi mtoto mmoja aliyeche class 7 alikuwa anafukuza uniform wanataka pesa mpaka nikafika mahali nikasema sasa hivi nitafanyaje na kaacha tu kusoma second born pia ameacha kusoma naye nimempeleka mahali kuchungia mtu ngombe sasa zingine wakimulipa huwa ananipa yako na nasikia vizuri na watoto sasa kwa nyumba despite all the struggles her husband has forbidden her from using modern family planning methods niko na watoto 20 si mambo ya mabipi kupanga usasi hatutaki nataka tu aongeze ukikosa watoto wanakucheka ajaribu kumuelezea vile maisha inaendelea akakataa nikaenda hata hospitali nikauliza sister ni sister akasema tu weka tu uone kama ata, ata nini atakufukuza hakika nikaweka shindano ya miaka tatu. vile nilikuja na akasema ni nini hii yenye umeweka hapa mimi nikamwambia mzee hata basinon basintasaa tu watoto lakini wacha hao wakue kitoko sababu ninatafuta kwa nguvu zangu na kusahaa kila wakati nitaisha nguvu akanichapa mpaka tukarudi kwa kaenda kukatoa shindano na tulienda tu naye na akasomea huyo sister alikuwa sister Julia akamwambia mambo ya kuharibu mapipi za wenyewe hapa mjue kitu yenye iliwaleta sasa nikaamua tu acha nimsalie vile anataka just like Gentrix, the situation is replicated in many homesteads here. Women remain in bondage due to such outdated traditions. Nika kuchako na drastu siku zingine, siku ingine, akarusha kwa cho. Kasema hiyo hapana. Pura afikiche tu inyi nataka. Akifikisha kama 22. Mtu anasema watu watoto wakiwa wengi hata mwingine akue chambasi mwingine mwizi mwingine mwalimu mwingine akue tu kutafuta watoto watakusaidia tu. Hasa wakikaa wakisema hivyo wanaona kama tu ni zao. Hasa mtu akirudi kwa nyumba ujaribu mtulainisha maisha anaona tu kama watamucheka kwamba ana watoto. Gentrix acknowledges that family planning will give her reprieve. Toto namba 5 nilitokea kwa kusicheni. Wao watoto huo wanisumbue kitambo ni sai tu mtoto anguke chini. Huwa ninapitia nikaenda huko kanidunga shindano ya nini ya 300 kurudi akasema mimi ni mbaridi akasema kwa nini umekaa baridi hivi na akaanzia tu akasema huwa ninapikiwa story nikisikia ati mtu akiwa baridi ameenda family planning saa hii nikipanga uzazi itanisaidia sababu nitakuwa free kwa kutafuta vile watoto wangu wanakula kulea nini na nini haita sitakuwa nina in a struggle sana. Cultural beliefs is something that is hindering many women to access family planning in this region. Some of them resorting to seeking family planning services secretly without the consent of their husbands. Sasa kulingana na Kimila. At least uko na watoto 12 ndo wataona umefanya kitu. Things went awry for her when she took 5 years family planning method after giving birth to her fourth child. Alikuwa anashika shika kwa mkono sasa akaniuliza ka, nani hii ni nini? Hii ni nini ama umeanza uchawi? Sasa ikaleta shida. Akanichukua ilikuwa Jumatatu akanileta hospitali. Akasimama akatoa. Wakatoa. 
hata alikuwa analeta shiteti kwa nini mnaweka na mchauliza contraception here is talked about in low tones women here deciding to seek the service secretly without the knowledge of their husbands nilikuwa nachifungua huyu achatembea eh huyu achatembea kama nimecharipu sana ndio anasimama na inua mkuu yani ile ya tata tata kwa bedroom niko na mwingine sasa bwanangu akichua nilienda family planning anaoa tu pipi mwingine msalie watoto wenye anataka eh ndio sababu huwa nakuja na mboga na dungwa naenda nyumbani hachui yani ye, wenye anataka ni 15 na kama ni pati mbaya ya Mungu ujui ni 12 wanaume huko wanaamini tu watoto ni mali. Maria not her real name says she opted for family planning after she experienced some complication during delivery of her sixth child. Sasa nilikuanga to complete bed rest watoto tatu au nyuma. Au wa kwanza hapana. Sasa nikienda hospitali walikuwa wananiambia mama hakuna kitu yenye utakuwa unafanya complete bed rest na niko kwa madawa hivyo. Sasa ndio nilifika mahali nikaamua nilikuwa nawaambia hospitali wameniambia nilikuwa na complete bed rest na wao sasa walikuwa wananiita kama china eti sasa complete bed rest hapo hapo complete bed rest mara hii amelala wapi i had the opportunity to talk to some men here about family planning and majority here consider that a taboo mungu aliyeumba hao watoto ana budget ya lishe ya watoto hao pamoja na mimi fikira yangu haijaniambia kwamba kufanya familia ndio suluhu tutakuwa na nyonga watoto wengine ambao kwamba wangekuwa na umuhimu kwangu mimi mimi neno la kusema tiniende tukae pale tuambie watu wapange uzazi ndani ya akili yangu halitakuwa mpaka kufa kwangu Shaban Mongosi a member of Bunyala Council of Elders says that their culture must be upheld to the latter Sisi tunafanya neno ambalo ni katika sheria yetu hii sheria ya kupanga uzazi haikuwaka na wanyala Mungu mwenyewe anasema Mungu mwenyewe alivumba mbingu na inji wao utapishana na Mungu. Anasema saa, saa neni muwe kama mchanga wa baharini. Alafu wewe wewe can you correct the, the, the creator God? Some men here however have a different opinion on the matter. Mtoto wa, wa baba yangu mdogo ni rika ya mtoto wangu mdogo. Wako kilasi moja. <laughs> Bibi yako amebeba mtoto, mama amebeba mtoto. Sasa mkienda mahali pengine uko mkeni unajua siku hizo ugeni ni mahali penye kuna matanga wanauliza kwa kinyala wanasema njano uende ngali yu adani yule mwenye yule kitumbo kikubwa wanasema ni pipi ya ipremu na yule mwingine wanasema ni pipi ya, ya papa ya ipremu hapana hiyo maneno haifai hata mama sio lazima ataende family planning wewe mtoto wako mtoto wake anaweza kumpandia family planning ya mtomo Namwambia sasa mama leo umesaa huyo sasa waje huyo awe wa mwisho. Ibrahim a father of nine regrets his previous decision of sharing many children. Mwenye msaliwa na yule bibi mwenye anaishi na yeye. Ako sasa ti 6. Ngoja nilikuwa nataka nawe sasa ti 7. Hasa ni huwa naangalia naona ya kwamba mahali penye alienda kama ni shindano ya nia ya family planning inafanya kazi. Mm sasa naona tu ashikilie tu hapo naona kama ni sifa tukitaka kusema ati tunataka tuongeze ja familia lakini hakuna sifa katika hiyo kitu mm, hiyo ni umaskini hiyo umaskini ni kawaida iko watu wanaosambaratika wakienda hivyo wengine wamesoma wakafika pale basi wengine namna hiyo hiyo ni kawaida ya dunia <laughs> hata unaweza kuwa na mtoto mmoja na ndio tena uwe maskini kabisa Health workers acknowledge the challenge on the issue of family planning in this community. Wamama wengi huwa wanarudi akifika anakwambia sister nimejiiba tu kutoka nyumbani mzee ameenda kazi. Tafadhali ni dunge tu ya miezi tatu na usiniandikie mahali niambie tu siku ya kurudi halafu nitaishika kwa kichwa ama naenda kusave kwa simu. Lakini hataki kwenda nyumbani na karatasi imeandikwa kwa sababu wanasema wazee wanatafuta mpaka ndani ya manguo na akipata ni kuchapwa ama kuzwe. Halafu wengine wenye tunawekea ya five years kuna mwingine alifika nyumbani 
mzee alipata iko alichomoa na mikono hizo rods mbili mama alirudi kama zimechomolewa na akasema tafadhali munidunge ya miezi tatu kwa sababu hiyo hatajua kama iko They say at least 50% of women who arrive at the hospital for delivery live when they are well equipped with contraceptives but there are some who come back after that is at 6 weeks wakileta watoto wachanje shindano ya kwanza most of them what wanachukua a method At Navaholo Subcounty Hospital, a total of 2488 women were offered contraceptives in the year 2020 with a high percentage opting for the 3 months injections. At wazee wanasema wamekuwa wabaridi. At ingine wanasema wakichukua a method watazaa watoto wenye wako deformed, malformed. Even they wanna amini kwa community sasa most of them are kuji but those who are enlightened wana kujia Anasa Tbushiri Health Center Jacqueline Munangasi says they are doing their best to reach out to the residents in the rural areas using community health volunteers to sensitize the community about the importance of family planning the use of community health volunteers who go household to household giving different health messages we also we, they've also been taken through the family planning packages so they'll also give, go and give information at home it's easy to get this men at home than in the facility so they also give the information at home and they share it out violet auma tv47 kakamega